What's up, fellow pirates? Explorer Adria here, coming at you with another episode of Salt 2. So, last episode, I got to show you guys a little bit of the new underwater update that came out recently, uh, as well as we took on a couple of the quests, one for Mr. Bones, as well as the main story quest for the Marauders Guild, where we picked up the pickaxe schematic uh, from a desert uh, island mining cave back there. So... We are currently on our way over to where Mr. Bones' is island, his little tavern is, uh, way over here, and then we're going to go down and turn in our other quest to the Marauders Guild. I've got them both marked here on the map. Uh, that being said, I finished clearing out that island off camera that's behind us there, the desert one, and I wanted to touch base really quickly on something from the latest update, you guys. Um, on desert islands now, there will be... A spot where you can come across a treasure hunter the treasure hunter will in fact have uh, he'll let you know about the idea that you can now use a shovel to find and dig up treasure chests on all the desert islands it looks like every desert island has one spot where you can dig up a treasure you will need a shovel and the better quality shovel that you have the longer that the shovel will last and the treasure hunter himself will sell you uh, blueprints in order to make better quality shovels. It looks like almost every uh, every tier of metal has a shovel. Now, the only thing I, I was kind of not so crazy about was the fact that um, it looks like your shovels are a one-time use. So I did happen to find myself, uh, I found a shovel out in the wild last episode and I had it in my inventory. I managed to find a spot where you can dig up treasure. I used a shovel, three swings into the dirt and it was broken. I did manage to get the treasure chest, but my shovel disappeared. So keep that in mind. If you are going to be out and making yourself a shovel to go treasure hunting, you're going to want to try and get yourselves your hands on the better patterns, the better shovel patterns. So, but yeah, I will meet you guys at Mr. Bones's Tavern. Okay, you guys. So we have made our way back to another uh, creepy and eerie Mistlands Island here. Uh, the one that we needed for Mr. Bones's Tavern to turn in this quest. So. Uh, I just wanted to share with you guys, on my way over to this island, uh, I managed to plot a couple more out, one of which being a, another underwater island. And when I got there, I, there was a couple things that I discovered that I wanted to share with you guys. One of which is jellyfish, they hurt. So stay away from them. They will do damage to you. As you can see, I kind of got a little bit of uh, some damage done to me by one. I wanted to test it out. And just like in Ark, they suck. Um, and number two is Diver's Key. So we've got another island that requires another key. The first one was a Coral, and then another one's a Diver's Key. So we got to be on the lookout for those as well, too. Uh, but in the meantime, we're going to go talk to our good friend, Mr. Bones. All right, sir. One orb for you. You found the orb. Perfect. Let me see it. Hmm. I can see the corpse of Klaus. But he's too far away to contact. It looks like he crashed his ship and died near there. I recognize that area. One second. Once you've found him, speak to him and maybe he can tell you, or sorry, tell us how to find Davy Jones's father. Okay, I am on it. Quest complete in search of an orb. And we got a treasure chest out of that. One silver and a new map. Okay, so we are looking for an island at 16 east 22 north would you know it it's a little familiar boom right there uh it just so happens you guys when i was clearing this out i happen to have actually found that uh very creepy shipwreck yeah we're gonna go back there okay all right well now that i'm getting a nice case of uh deja vu we are back and here is our forgotten remnants ship so i believe is there a treasure? Did I miss this treasure chest? Hire a captain's key required. I did. Okay, I'm going to have to make a note that we need to bring that back. And, well, here we go. Who are you, Mr. Spirit of Klaus? Just the person we are looking for. All right. This is odd. I haven't spoken to a living person in quite some time. Well, it is possible to get to Davy Jones's locker. And it's easier than you might think, but also quite difficult. Yes, but not just any old death. You need to die far out at sea, away from any islands. I can give you a potion. 
I found a recipe for it while I was escaping Davy Jones' locker. It's a poison, and if you drink it while out at sea, it will kill you and allow you to traverse the realm to Davy Jones' locker without his permission. All right, you guys, so we've got ourselves the Potion of the Deep uh, for Mr. Klaus, and it requires us to head out into the ocean and take a drink, which in turn should kill us and bring us to Davy Jones' locker. I have no idea exactly how this is going to work, but I'm going to swim out towards the ocean a little ways away from the shore and see how this goes. Let's try it here. Drink. You have died. Okay, quest updated. Davy Jones's locker. Cool, we made it, you guys. Uh, inspect. A waterlogged cross stands upright in a pool of water. In the dim cavern light, you can see a faint word etched into the horizontal beam. Uh, it appears to be your name. Okay. Oh, very cool, you guys. All right, so we have now been transported to Davy Jones's locker. Something about a secret wall with an exit near an anchor. Davy Jones's minions throw me back in here. Uh, though the second I leave, I may very well die here. Okay. Okay. All right. So I can combat in here. So we're gonna be going up against some bad guys. I'm assuming. So there's nothing to loot here. Okay. That's a ghost. Are you friendly? Slave of Davy Jones. You you should not be here. This is an evil place. My name is Lewis. I, like many others, have become a slave to Davy Jones. I don't know how you came to be here, but I'd recommend you find a way out and soon. Boom! Alright, so that looks like a way out. But we don't want the way out yet. We want to find Mr. Jones. Uh, gate key required. Okay, so we're not going to go that way. We are in here, which... Okay, I can... Oh, I can loot stuff in here. Prisoner's note. Okay. Locked up the gate protecting the treasure as Master commanded. I will keep the key on me at all times. Now, time to go to my favorite spot on the ship where I can watch the sunset. Okay, so... We're probably going to want to search that ship and look for Mr. Guy who's got the key. Oh, that looks cool. Neat. Okay, so we're underwater, but we're not swimming, so we can't even get up there. But I like the look of the ceiling in this. That's cool. All right. Okay, so we do have some stuff to loot in here, you guys. I wasn't expecting that. Um, so this is a very twisty, turny place, but... We'll head down, regardless. And I just, it just crossed my mind I forgot to make arrows, too. Uh, maybe we'll get lucky and find some here. Hello! Uh, oh. You are not friendly. And you know what? I should actually be... I wonder... Okay, well, you're dead, which is good. Um, I actually wonder what would be better. If it would be the hammer or this. Okay, so one of the recent changes, you guys, to the update was um, the developer made it so that slash damage does less damage to skeletons. Um, blunt damage does more. But that being said, I realize these guys are also ghosts. So I don't know which one's going to be better. So we're going to have to test that out. Mr. Servant. Uh, yeah, okay, all right. I'm going to say these guys count as... as uh, Skeletons, and it looks like Blunt does better. So yeah, so for those of you who are playing this game, yeah, you're going to want to use a Blunt uh, weapon against Skeletons. Another guy over that way. There's a, there's a few ships here. Okay. I like this area. It's pretty cool. Oh, we got a treasure chest here. Very nice items there. Okay. That's another servant to Mr. Jones. Oops. 
Oh, come on. Come on! Can I get those arrows back? <laughs> Alright, that guy's dead. Alright, let's go see where I may have shot those arrows. Ah, uh, there's one. Nope, that's not one. Darn it! Did they stick into the wall? Because that would be a... Door key required. Okay. So we're going to find ourselves a door key somewhere. Hey, what is that? Gate key. All right, write ourselves up a gate key. Can I take these pictures? Kind of nice if I could take this furniture. Right, we got ourselves a chest here with a couple little items in it. Um, all right. Ha ha! Door key. Perfect. Now both keys. Yes. Consume that. All right. Where are you taking us now? Okay, there's a guy way off in the distance that way. This gate leads to us too now. I don't really want to take two on at once because these guys pack a pretty good punt. Ah, oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Okay, take a potion. Come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Yeah! Man, they pack a punch. All right, we're going to heal up for a second. Oh, wow. Okay. Very cool. So there's an, a cave behind here. All right. And then we got to see what's up with this cave. Bunch of basic materials here, I like that. Now what do you have to say? Read. A piece of parchment is nailed to a wooden post. On it, you see a faded inscription. Four flames protect the master's lair. Extinguished, the path is barred. Ignited, the way is revealed. Okay. I'm... So there's one, so we can interact with that one. There's two, there's three, and I was assuming that the fourth one would be here, but it's not. Okay. Okay, well, bear with me as we try to figure out these torches, you guys. There's one, two, three, and it said a fourth one, but I didn't see the fourth one, and it's not on this pillar. So where would be the fourth? Four flames protect the master's light. Oh, wow, here we go. All right, you guys, so if you're playing this, and you come to Davy Jones' locker, the fourth flame is behind this bookcase in the corner. All right, you guys, here we go. Chamber of guys. Okay. I have no idea what to expect here. This is this is absolutely crazy. Okay, so here we go. What is that thing? Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh. I'm taking damage. Okay. Ooh. 
Can I get to him? No. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. I gotta take these guys out. Okay. Being healed by something, it feels like, though. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm very confused at the moment. Okay, do I gotta hit all of these candles out now? Ah, there we go. Okay, so that's down, so I can get in and get him. Oh, yes. Okay, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I think we're almost there. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Whoo, baby. That's right. Who are you going to call? Explorer Idra, not the Ghostbusters, with these Ghostbusting skills, baby. Here we go. Uh, we want the gate key, Mr. Bones' contract, yes, and a hook of the deep one. Okay, very cool. Okay, so not a huge primary attack damage compared to our axe. Well, that's a little bit more. Okay, so it's not too far off. Uh, one to four poison damage every one second for ten seconds. It's got eight agility and three dexterity. Uh, both pretty decent skill um, uh, abilities to have. Secondary attacks with this weapon slow an enemy's movement speed and deal poison damage. Okay. Uh, we're going to give that a try out, you guys. That's pretty cool. Uh, a couple little treasures on our way out the door. And what about you? Take? Huh. All right. Well, um, I don't know what to do with that yet. What are you? Can I decorate my ship with you? A mask found in Davy Jones's locker it contains the power to save you from death when worn. Oh, and we're back. Okay. And it put us right where we use the potion. Cool. All right, you guys, we are back at Mr. Bones's tavern. Let's go turn in our contract and complete this quest for him. The way I see it, I have two choices. I could burn the contract, ending my curse as an immortal skeleton, but so much time has passed, I couldn't return to my old body. I would venture on into the next life. Or, I could stay like this and hold on to the contract until I'm ready, and in the meantime, continue to live my life as a skeleton. It is decided then. I will stay in this form for now, and honestly, I can't thank you enough for helping me. Here, take this. It's a small token of thanks. And if you ever need a drink or a place to rest, my tavern is always open to you. All right, we got ourselves another blue chest and one silver coin. All right, so lastly, you guys, I just want to go turn in the Marauder's Quest. Can we get into here? I can't, okay. I want to go turn in the Marauder's Quest and uh, look at setting ourselves up for the next episode. Yes. Yeah, we found the schematic, okay. And don't worry, here's your payment. The guild rewards those who do good work. Uh, now we gotta go talk to Victor. Okay, perfect. So, have you helped the other guild members complete their contracts? I have, good then. I now award you a new ranking. From now on, you will be considered an agent of the Marauders Guild. Congratulations. Now that you have proven yourself dedicated to the guild, I've got a task for you, a special task. Some time ago, a rumor started to spread about a secret chamber in the guild headquarters. Many areas of the guild have been uncovered over the years, but no such chamber has been found. Well, I got news for you. I'm pretty sure there's a door just over behind me here that we can check out, but that's okay. Uh, rumor has it that Nicholas hid rare treasure and artifacts in the chamber. I thought this rumor was probably nonsense for a long time, but continued my research in vain. In the journal Nicholas kept, he continued to reference a place he called an astrologer's cave. The cave seemed to be a place of solace for him. If you haven't come across them yet, be careful. They're crawling with pirates. The islands contain a unique orange-tinted foliage. It's beautiful, but dangerous. 
here, take this map and find that cave. With that, you guys, I'm going to call that episode here. Uh, I really enjoyed this one. I very much enjoyed doing Davy Jones's uh, locker and completing the, uh, the Mr. Bones quest. I thought that was a really neat quest line, something a little bit different, drinking the potion, dying, jumping into Davy Jones's locker, defeating him. Uh, yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. And turning in this quest for the Marauders Guild, we now have a new rank in the Marauders Guild and some more questing for next time. With that, you guys, I very much hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, on your way out, please drop me a like down below. I very much appreciate it, uh, and it greatly helps me out. With that, have yourselves an awesome day, and hope to see you guys in the next video.